Okay, we're back with uh, part two of the uh, flea market finds. Let's uh, keep going here. Uh, so last week got some Peter uh, Peter Pan blanket. This week and also last week got a uh, end of trail uh, bookends and this week some more end of trail bookends. End of the trail. Um, these have sold for me in the past, and uh, they were ten bucks for a pair. Sterling vanity set made by um, what is that? Um, S. Kirk and Son. Uh, floral, very well done. Nice thing about it is it's not monogrammed. Uh, that was uh, 75 for the four piece lot. The foul and uh, the comb, all of it's sterling. Um, I think uh, somebody's selling just the mirror for $80. So, um, should do okay. Uh, Citizen Eco Drive watch, uh, 20 bucks, never used. Uh, got the box of papers. Uh, some cookbooks, normally don't buy cookbooks. Uh, this one has a black Americana uh, piece, and uh, it's really amazing to me. Uh, this was this was put out back in 1940 and uh, to me 1940 is not not that long ago if you look in uh, like human history I mean here it is green turtle snoop soup snapping turtle I mean diamondback terrapin uh, who would even think of fixing something like this and it actually tells you um, how to prepare the live turtle uh, from start. Uh, I won't get into that because it's a little gruesome. Um, but they were uh, three bucks a piece for those uh, cooking books. Um, like I said, people wouldn't even consider uh, <laughs> fixing their, catching their own turtle and fixing it today. Uh, some little miniatures, uh, grasshopper, um, uh, band conductor, and a band of bees. Uh, pretty cool, four dollars for all of them. A uh, little glass, looks like a, a Murano type uh, man, three fifty on him. Three dollars on the little pigeon. Uh, three dollars on the train garden goose. Uh, four dollars on the tractor and trailer. Um, they're marked uh, Thomas Toy. Uh, they have these down as a pineapple core. Never seen anything quite like that. That was uh, two bucks. Bag of costume jewelry. This is like buying a lottery ticket. Um, Seven dollars on that. Some interesting pieces in there. Haven't even looked at them yet. Uh, load of patches, not your typical patches. Um, these are very high quality. Uh, I've been dealing with patches long enough now that these these are super quality, really well done. Um, I don't know if you're able to see the depth uh, on that, but uh, really, really good, good quality patches. Not uh, the knockoffs from uh, China uh, so that was 40 bucks for the entire stack but we'll sell them for around $12 a piece the tools three sets of weights and uh, some uh, stair center punches really good shape uh, $10 a piece so 40 bucks for the lot there a uh, thermometer on an ashtray, five bucks uh, with a uh, elephant on it. Uh, local Baltimore Skipjacks Hockey Club uh, mug, that was five. 
Baltimore Clippers uh, mug. That was five. Uh, Miss Piggy, still in the original box. You always see the Miss Piggy, but you never see one in a box. Uh, that was uh, 12 on that. Uh, $10 on a giant bag. It's a gallon bag of uh, plastic figures. Uh, we'll just dump them out, take a few pictures, and uh, sell them in a big lot. Uh, some giveaway watches uh, with the tags. Couldn't pass them up for uh, $5 a piece, $6. Uh, ligature wire. Um, this is kind of stuff they use in, for braces. Four bucks on a big uh, one pound roll of it. Um, it's got to have uh, other uses. A uh, soldering iron for uh, four bucks. Marine lamps, uh, red, and here's a green one. Made by uh, National Marine Lamp uh, Company. Um, hey Nathan, say hi. Um, Halloween, uh, one of my bigger purchases, Halloween, uh, not quite what you, um, lanterns or candy containers, not quite sure, but, uh, love the devil, the skull, the, uh, um, cat, it's pretty cool, um, these weren't cheap. I've never seen them before. Didn't want to uh, miss out on them. Um, so they were 200 for the five of them. But couldn't let them go. Uh, so haven't even looked them up yet. Don't know what they're worth. Uh, but cool piece. The uh, clock has a sea biscuit, gallant fox, count fleet. And a nice, nice clock from the uh, 40s, 50s, I would say. I've seen these on eBay go for around 125. Uh, I paid 40. Uh, decoy for uh, 10 bucks signed. A little bit of a condition issue. I don't know why, but dogs love to chew on uh, decoys' uh, beaks. I uh, love the birds. Check them out. Hand carved finch, and uh, this guy is at a what do they call it? House wren. Um, really well done. Um, they were uh, they weren't cheap either. They were sixty bucks a piece, but uh, couldn't pass them up. I'm gonna put a high price on them, and uh, somebody will like them. All right. The last piece to show you, and the lighting here is not very good, so you really can't uh, can't appreciate uh, how great great of a piece this is. Um, but uh, it's a bronze sculpture uh, made by Ronnie Wells uh, called Wave Runners. It's a uh, limited edition piece. Uh, this one goes for, well, I sold, I bought it for uh, $300, and uh, let me show you here, um, here it is on Worth Point, and the price it went for, $2,495, um, so definitely uh, the buy of the year so far. Uh, may end up keeping it. Um, it's a very cool piece and it's it just looks great from every angle. Uh, it's something if you put on like a motorized um, uh, display uh, it would it just looks good from every which way. Uh, great piece. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over the next week. And uh, so until next time, this is Will Yard Sales Survivalist, and uh, we'll talk again soon.